Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend, and welcome back to Dredge, where I'm having a bit of an epiphany. You see this all-singing, all-dancing, incandescent lighting array? It has a power of 3,000 lumens and will illuminate up to 40 metres in front of your boat. Problem is, I can't afford it. Hmm. But, if I were to sell the tungsten floodlight, I would be able to afford it takes up three spaces, which is currently occupied by the cloudy lens and the tungsten floodlight. So I'd have to move the cloudy lens, but there's a free lighting spot there for that as well. Who would have thought that if you sell unwanted equipment, you can afford to buy new equipment? <laughs> Why did you lot not tell me about this? <laughs> I mean, I'm broke. I only have $15 to my name. But I now have 3,750 lumens of light and power that will illuminate. I mean, look at that! Wow! That's awesome. I'm going to sleep on that. I figure that after, after figuring that out all by myself, without any help or input or comments in previous videos whatsoever from any of you, I deserve a good night's rest. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think that's the most powerful lighting array in the game. Or at least it's the most powerful one you can buy from the ship, right? Right, so, anyway, we're at the Twisted Strand. It's all mangrove swamps, and, uh, and we killed a Snurgly. I think I need to go and recover the corpse, though. Or perhaps check my crab pot for his passive income and all that. Oh, holy shit, giant mud crabs. Highly cannibalistic. They've been known to... Div okay, all right, fine. Um, yeah, we'll take them. How much are they worth? I mean, I am absolutely broke. I think I'm down on my last $15. What can I catch here? Um, doesn't look like anything special. Oh, a snaggy mullet. Nice. Oh, well, it's going to be more valuable than the regular catch. And you never know your luck. I might get a trophy catch while I'm here, too. I mean, I am broke. I've got $15.50. This lighting array was not cheap. Oh, trophy catch. Come on, baby. There's that bad boy. Those are always more valuable. That's basically the biggest example of that particular species that you've ever caught. Another snaggy fish. This is looking good. Right, okay, we've depleted that particular fishing spot. Let's head back and sell all of these. Because, I mean, it's kind of dangerous sailing around the twisted strand here, and not just because of the snurglies. I mean, it's very, very tight and narrow. And uh, there it is, giant mud crab. And, well, at this stage of the game, you've upgraded your engine a bit, and it's very, very easy to bump into stuff that you don't want to bump into. Now, I do need to save some of these grey mullet, because I need them for the bait for the rest of the snurglies. And I can't remember exactly how many I need. It's at least three, possibly four. So I'm going to save four. That was kind of handy. Um, I've got these upgrades, some of which are actually ready to go. I just need the cash to pay for them. And of course, once I've got the boat and all its subsystems fully upgraded, I don't need to fill up my storage with scrap metal and lumber and sailcloth anymore. Right, anyway. This is where we killed the first snow. Well, I say we killed it. Well, yeah, we killed it. Me and the airman. I baited it and trapped it, and then the airman blasted the shit out of it with the mortar that I found for him. So that should, in theory, mean that this end of the island, because there's three of these snurglies, this end of the island should now be, well, safer, if not safe. I just need to get this carcass back to the airman. And he, of course, is located right in the middle. Is that catfish? I think I need catfish as well. It looks like catfish. It's not catfish, it's tarpon. All right, never mind. I'll take it anyway. Something that I think I noticed, it, it, was, it kind of happened out of the corner of my eye, and I wasn't really sure, is that it looks like the, um, the boundaries inside the Twisted Strand keep shifting. I'll see if I can find an example of what I'm talking about. And I think these signs all point to the location of the airman's camp. Eh. Whatever. Ah, there's more of those humming rocks. Yes, 
Okay. Nothing's going to happen. Uh, these things don't react unless you're in an advanced state of panic. See, there's an, ooh, some snaggy fish over here. We're going to have this. Oh, perhaps not. Those are very, very big. I think they're called gar. Ah, what the hell? Oh, trophy catch. Yes! Trophy gar. Okay, that's going to be worth it. Oh, there's a snaggy gar in there as well, I don't think. There we go, clawfin gar. Gotcha. So that's going to be valuable too. And as luck would have it, we've now depleted the school. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's great. That's perfect. One trophy fish, one snaggy fish. So, yeah, like I was saying, the borders and groves of this mangrove swamp seem to change position. The boundaries move. Ooh, ooh, is that another... I think that's another snaggy... The snurgly rather than the snag... Snaggy fish are fine, you know, they're not a threat. Snurglies, on the other hand, ooh, no. Very different from squirlies. Oh, this is another... Yeah, there's going to be a mind sucker in there, isn't there? Yes. Oh, oh, it's there! <laughs> nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, bollocks. Dead end. Where is it? Where is it? No, no, no! There, you see? The entrance is now blocked. That's what I was talking about. That was the way I came in. And it was open a minute ago. This place is out to get you. Some of the entrances to the channels keep opening and closing at random. Fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, before we got jumped by a Snurgly, I was trying to explain to you the difference in nomenclature between Snurglies and Squirlies. I know they sound similar. Oh, yeah, did you hear that? That channel just closed up. Over to the left. I think we actually almost saw it happening. But anyway, yes, snurglies and squirlies, they do sound similar, but there's a very, very important difference. Basically, a snurgly is a squirly that has way too many teeth, <laughs> or claws, or legs. Oh, is this a fish shrine? It is a fish shrine, is it not? Deformed fish. So it just wants... What, was that it? Any... Holy shit, look at this. Tendon rod, oceanic mangrove and shallow water. 31% fishing speed. Wow, that was probably the simplest fish shrine I've ever seen. It just wanted one snaggy fish. Well, hell yeah. You always get decent kit from... I mean, the sinew spindle that we... I think was the first thing that we got from one of these fish shrines. wasn't that good. Um... But it only occupies two storage spaces. So I suppose it's not that bad either. Right, anyway, before we get sidetracked again, snurglies and squirlies. A squirly is just generally any kind of cute, furry, inoffensive animal. A snurgly can be a small, or what appears to be a small, cute, furry, inoffensive animal until its teeth and claws come out. <laughs> At which point it becomes a snurgly. Snurglies are scary and dangerous, squirlies are not, and that's the difference. Although, some snurglies look like squirlies. <laughs> uh, just to lure you into a sense of false security. Right, so these, I think, are the locations of... Um, oh, 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 those things, <laughs> yes! Ah! No! Wait, no, I can get through here. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh, snaggy fish, which I'm not going to stop to investigate <laughs> because I'm being chased. Oh, something slithered in my cargo hold. Whoa! 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 No, fuck that shit. Oh, this is the airman's camp. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, and not before time. I think we're going to, uh, I think we might have to sleep it off here until the morning. But first, let's speak to the airman. Hello, Mr. Flying Person Dude. I found some of your dog tags, by the way. Yeah, some of your shot down buddies. He gives you research mm. parts for these. Fantastic. And also, while we're here, um, I think I've got some more stuff for baiting your traps. Yeah, there we go. I knew I was keeping this grey mullet for something. Right. And there's the second bait. 
Yeah, um, let's have a look at the other one. And, yep, one grey mullet, and there it is. A catfish. So that's freed up a load of space, which I'm going to need for the bodies of the snurglies that we're going to kill. Um, and finally, I killed one of your snurglies. Okay. Oh, you don't actually have to give it to him. It's automatically removed from your inventory. What do I get for this? What? Nothing. So I have to kill all three. Okay, that's fair. Um, now then, I did get a research part. Twin jet drive engine. Now available in stores. Can't afford it, of course. <laughs> but that's fine. Right. So we've got the bait for the other two snurglies. We've killed one, two to go, and uh, and we've already done the fishing shrine in this place. I should probably maybe think about. Uh, oh god, yeah, I've got an infected fish. Uh, it's fine. I can still sell it as long as you know the fishmonger doesn't look too closely at it. Right then. So where to? Where am I? Right in the middle. Of course I'm. There. Okay, let's just go where we can go, thanks to all of these channels closing up on us as the mangrove swamp extends. And, uh, and see where we end up. Ooh. Right, let's do this before it jumps out on us. Load it with bait. Yeah, let's get the hell away from Oh, there it is. <laughs> this will do. This will do. There it is. It's taking the bait. There goes the trap. Gotcha. Incoming! And boom. Headshot. Right. Now hopefully I've made enough space. Yep. Plenty of space. To actually retrieve the carcass. Okay. Two down, one to go. So... Looks like the last one's all the way up there. Um, maybe I should head back to the pontoon, sell the fish that I have, maybe retrieve the crab Again, a lot of this is going to be dictated by which of the channels are open and which ones aren't. I mean, I could do some fishing here, but I want to make sure I've got enough space to retrieve the carcasses. And is that another downed aircraft where I can maybe recover another dog tag? with those, hey, research parts. Or is that, oh, bollocks. Yeah, this is the problem with getting faster and faster engines. Oh, I think that's the airman's base again. Oh, well, that's, that's yeah, it is. This is this is fine. I mean, I can't repair here, but I've got a carcass to handle. So we'll do that. It's going to free up a lot of cargo space. So I killed another one of them snurglies. <laughs> One left. Okay. Okay, nothing serious was damaged. Because of course when you do take whole damage it can it can manifest in Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh you've gotta be kidding me. Uh, yeah, versatile rod damage. That's exactly what I was talking about. Because that, that damage can manifest itself in any part of your cargo hold. And if that occupies a space where you've got equipment, the equipment's done until you get it repaired. So. Alright. Oh. No. All of my fish are getting infected. You know what? I'm going to ditch them. I don't want to risk that spreading to the trophy catch. Right. Okay, we're just around the corner from the pontoon. Although, we're not that far from the third and final. Yeah, we're going to go for it. So, this way, I think. Another downed aircraft. I think I've been here before. I have, yeah. I've already recovered the dog tags from that one. This way, I think. We'll take some more fish. Sergeant fish. I must have caught these before. No encyclopedia entry popped up. 
more than enough cargo space. As long as I don't, you know, run into something again. Just make sure that I keep enough space left over for the carcass of the third and final snowy. Oh! A snaggy sergeant fish. Well, that is a weird looking thing, isn't it? Vortex interloper. Okay. Um, so it's back that way. Um, up here and around to the left, maybe? Nope, that way. Okay. Again, this is the problem. When you have a fast boat and you're up here in the Twisted Strand, very, very easy to run into things. Okay, it's through there. Where's the... There it is. The truck. It is baited quick. I'm going to get the hell out of here. There it is. It's coming for it. Take the bait. Take the bait. Stop by the fishing spot. Safe distance. Oh, the fishing spot. It must have been a daytime fishing spot. It doesn't matter. It's taken the bait. The trap's got it. Holds it in place. And then finds the mortar. And... Boom! Headshot. Right, that's all three of the snowblies. Recover the carcass. Oh, it's starting to run out of space. So I've got a choice here now. I can return to the airman and see what he's going to give me. Um, or head back and sell these fish before they start to rot. Ooh, a dredging spot. Wow, this one's going down really quickly. Is this going to be another research point? No. <laughs> I feel vaguely cheated. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could use lumber. I can take on a couple. Might have to do a bit of rearranging of the cargo, but... Oh! Oh, a research part. <laughs> Fine. Happy with that. But for that versatile rod damage, I don't think I can actually fish up any any mangrovey stuff. And the position of that, those hull damaged spots are making it really awkward to take on additional cargo. Right, it is getting kind of late. I think it's sort of, it's an equal distance between the airman's camp and the pontoon. That, that was not closed earlier. It's doing it again, isn't it? Oh, there it goes. We actually saw it happening. And that one, oh no, things are getting bad. Here's the thing. I have to actually be moving or fishing in order for time to pass. And it's not going to open up unless I actually start moving around and, and causing time to pass. So, okay, we're good. There it is, the airman's camp. Now let's see what we get for handing in the last snuggly. <coughs> Yeah, that's the last one. Rip something. <laughs> ah, so that's how you get the relic up here. It's inside one of the snugglies. Okay. So, uh, what are you doing now, old fella? Are you going to stay? Okay, seems a bit weird, but <laughs> it's your life. Bait. Hmm. Mixed bait can be used to attract. Oh! Okay. Toss the bait overboard to attract local species. Okay. Well, that's useful, I suppose. Hmm. And I can. I can give him fish from cargo. Oh. Some of the fish are starting to rot. No, it's not going to take rotten fish. <laughs> that would have been too lucky. Um, all right, uh, let's have a look. Can I afford? That's basically rotting. I'm never going to get it back to the uh, fishing pontoon in time. Let's give him this. 
maybe another sergeant fish. I mean they're stale but not actually rotting yet. And I'll do, let's see what we get. Ah. Two buckets of bait. Okay. Well that was productive. We not only completed the quests for the M and we got the relic for the collector as well. Right, I'll sleep here until morning. I know that's running the risk of some of my fish rotting, but um, I ain't going back out at night with my uh, state of panic, such as it was. Right, back to the fishing pontoon. I pretty badly need repairs. My versatile rod is completely buggered. Let's see what this bait does. This looks like a likely spot. The mangrove swamps are trying to trap me again, aren't they? Let's get back to the uh, the fishing pontoon and open water first. Actually, it might not be such a great idea to use this bait while my fishing rods have been disabled. Is it? No, I've gone completely the wrong way. It's so easy to get turned around in this place, particularly when the channels keep closing up on me. Oh, snaggy fish. We'll have that. And I can actually fish here. Oh, that's good. Oh, I can fish in mangrove swamps. Oh, so, okay. Losing the versatile rod wasn't completely... And there's another clawfin gar. All right. So yeah, I obviously have another rod equipped that does allow me to fish in mangrove swamps. It's just the loss of the versatile rod. It's taking longer to fish stuff up, but this is fine. Right then, there's the fishing pontoon. I'll come back to the crab pot in a minute. At the moment, the cargo hold is kind of full and also damaged. Let's uh, sell my stuff. $283, that's not bad considering some of the fish were stale. Uh, research, yes, I picked up another research part. So what do I need? Engines, not really. Nets, mm, pots, mm. Uh, engine stack or this thing, the fathomless winch. That is a really, really good piece of kit and only takes up four spots. The engine stack though, 67 knots, I mean that's fast. Yeah, okay. Engine stack it is. Next, floating dock. Now I've got some cash, I can actually afford to pay oh, $350 for... That's going to give me another two engine spaces from my cargo. The thing is, it won't leave me with enough cash to actually buy any of the upgraded engines, but yeah, the money will come. Um, let's dump any extra stuff into the upgrade slots. Anything that I don't need in cargo, I'll put in storage. Get some repairs done at the shipyard. Not that bad. It's left me with only $105 though. Which means I can't afford any of the new engines that I've unlocked. But what I can do... Refined outboard engine takes up three slots. I can fit two of those. I'll remove the jet drive engine, put that into storage, take the refined outboard engine, which takes up three spots, and can now go into the three spare engine spaces, giving my boat a new top speed of just a hair under 100 knots. This is why I hold on to things. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Couldn't afford any of the new engines, but didn't need to. I probably don't need all of the other stuff that's still in storage, and I could certainly make some money by selling that, but that's why I hold on to things. Well, what I need right now more than anything else is money. I've got all kinds of things researched that I can't actually afford to buy or fit to the boat. So I went out fishing, stayed out overnight, nothing eventful happened, I just filled the cargo hold with fish. So, given that they are all still fresh, $430, that's not a bad catch. Back up to 873 It did occur to me that I haven't really spent any time exploring any of the islands around the Twisted Strand. I mean, normally these are the kind of places where you'd find the fish shrines. We've already found that in the middle of the mangrove swamp. But that doesn't mean there isn't anything else out here. Like, for example, in this island down to the southwest, 
it's Captain Snags again, isn't it? And a rather fetching purple robe this time, so what does he want? I mean, it's going to be some kind of fish. But which one? Tarpon. Oh, well, that's easy. I mean, I catch them all the time around here. Then again, the first one that he wants usually is pretty easy and can usually be found relatively close by. Let's check around the other side of the island. Yep, yeah, there's something here. I don't necessarily trust it. Hang on, what's that? Dredging spot. And... gotcha. A sextant. Okay. It's just junk. Downed aircraft. Or a snuggly! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was hoping for another set of dog tags there. Uh, because those are worth research points. What do we got? Oh, like a snapper or something? It, it's not a top on that much, I know. Yeah, a red snapper. Yeah, we'll take it. It's fine. What do we got over here? Got a patch of disturbed water. It doesn't look like tarpon. No, it's like black mullet or something again. Spot over here. Let's take a look. And it's red snapper again. There is another island over here though. I definitely haven't been to. How are we doing for time? Middle of the afternoon ish. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll go and investigate. There's going to be something here. There always is around these islands. And we might, and again, I'm probably not going to find any tarp on out in open water. I mean, I could just use the spyglass, but whatever. What's this? Yeah, red snapper again. There's a dredging spot. We're actually getting pretty close to the Stella Basin. You can see the old abandoned fort where the researcher lives on the horizon. More crap. Anything else on this island? Abandoned dock or something? More red snapper. It's starting to get late. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Well, that is unusual. There's normally something. Huh. Oh well. Right, so we need some tarpon. What's going on in the cabin? Pursuit updated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, rare fish. Because I found the rare fish at the Gale Cliffs. And I found the rare fish in the Stella Basin. But there's going to be a rare fish up here in the uh, Twisted Strand as well. And another one up at the Devil's Spine. But I, I haven't found the one here at the Twisted Strand yet. So the one in Gale... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I need to be heading back to quick. Uh, the one in the Gale Cliffs was in the cave... Uh, behind the waterfall, and you needed an abyssal fishing line to catch it. I can't remember, I think I caught the one down in Stella Basin by accident. It doesn't look like they all are in specifically hard to reach spots. But if there's a trick to finding whichever the rare fish is up here at the Twisted Strand, I haven't figured it out. Is that a snaggy fish? It is. Let's catch ourselves a snaggy fish. It's just a grey mullet spot. I think I might have caught all of the grey mullet aberrations. Yeah, there's an entwined mullet. I mean, I've caught that before. Ooh, ooh, trophy fish. Gotcha. I mean, it's just a trophy grey mullet. It's not going to be that valuable. Oh, hang on. That was a trophy snaggy grey mullet. <laughs> okay, that might actually be quite valuable. That's the biggest entwined grey mullet I've ever caught. And that's all we're getting out of this spot. Right, it's nearly 3am. Let's get back to that fishing pontoon and hand this stuff in before it starts going stale on us. Only 140. Well, I mean, it is just grey mullet and red snapper, I suppose. Oh, if you're wondering where all the money went, I bought some packed explosives and a research pot. 
Okay, we'll sleep this off until the morning. Well, it's only a couple of hours, but it's enough to at least reduce our panic meter. So, more research parts. I can afford two, and I'm going to do it. I mean, I know I've unlocked these new engines, but I don't. I mean, I'm doing nearly 100 knots. I don't really need them yet. I want to get that big ass engine stack unlocked, and then fill up any spare engine spaces with uh, the jet drives that only take up one spot and see just how fast I can make this thing go. I've heard people saying that if you just fill all of your engine spots with um, jet drives, because they do only take up one spot, uh, you can do over a hundred knots. With the advantage that if you do take engine damage it's only going to take out one of the jet drives, so you're not going to be crippled in the way that you would if you have a massive engine stack and any one part of it takes one piece of damage, it disables the entire engine. I suppose there's a lot of common sense to that. But since when have I ever been guilty of that? <laughs> so, anyway, I'm looking for tarpon for Captain Snags, but I mean, I'll, I'll catch and sell whatever I can get my hands on. I'm not fussy, I need the money. Not just for the research parts, but to actually buy and install the things that I'm unlocking with the research parts. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the uh, the travelling merchant restocks refined metal and research parts every day since the big patch for the game a couple of weeks ago. So you can always just pass time and then buy research parts if you have the money for it. Man, this thing can shift now, can't it? Look at the speed. Not helping me catch any top on though, is it? That's sergeant fish, I think. Different by the outline, yes it is. Well, I do need the money, but sergeant fish are not particularly valuable. If I can find anything better, I'll take it. I still haven't actually used any of that fishing bait, have I? What's this? Uh, gar. I mean, they're reasonably valuable, but they take up too many cargo spaces. What is that? Ooh, salvage. I think that is that sailcloth? I don't need sailcloth. What have we got here? I do have to say, that's more sergeant fish. Uh, that's not what I have to say. I do have to say that the twisted strand is actually kind of pleasant. Once you've killed all the snurglies off, there's not really that much here that's threatening. What's this? Have I been here before? Camps off. I have not been here before. Rotten fish over the campfire. Check the fabric. Uh, let's have a look at the symbol. Book underneath a wave, then an upwards arrow. Cloud hangs over it. Over. Okay. Let's look at the second set. Five symbols mark the corners of a pentagram, the shape of a person lying in the middle. Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> Book above a wave with a downwards arrow pointing from the book below the wave. I was like, what, what, what's this all about? Give me stuff. <laughs> I don't explore these things to hear riddles. I want to get stuff. Oh, careful, careful. That's the trick, of course. When this thing's zipping around at more than 100 knots, it's really easy to run into stuff. Well, I know I'm not zipping around at more than 100 knots. I'm like at 99.8, but, you know, close enough for gun work. Now, is that another wrecked aircraft? I mean, I know it looks like a wrecked aircraft, but that doesn't mean it is. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, tarpon, I think, judging by the outline. Yes. Right. Okay, I only need one. I'll take two, just to be on the safe side, in case any of them get infected along the way. Although that shouldn't make too much difference. But anyway, yes, wrecked aircraft. Uh, so I'm just going to back up into it, ready for a hasty retreat, in case it's just something that looks like a wrecked aircraft. Um, it is a wrecked aircraft. Let's have a look. Oh, well, not just the dog tags, which if you take them to the airmen are worth a research part, but also a research part. So effectively, that's two. Fantastic. Right, now I do need lumber. The one thing I do not need anymore is sailcloth, but I do still need lumber and I need scrap metal. So I'm going to take the wood get my ass back to that fishing pontoon. Half one in the morning. Right. There we go. Engine stack. 
now unlocked. And of course, I have another research part on the way by mm. returning to the airman and handing in those dog tags. So let's get these repairs done. Uh, I didn't catch a lot of fish. And at least one of the fish I need to save, Captain Snags. Let's uh, use the remaining lumber, and that's nearly done. I just need two pieces of scrap metal. Uh, and now the cargo space is, again, just scrap metal. So I need six pieces of scrap metal in total. And I don't think I've seen any scrap metal at all up here at the Twisted Strand. Although I do know a couple of places where I can find them. They're just not around here. Steel Point up by the Marrows is a good spot. And uh, around the back of Gale Cliffs, where there's an abandoned fishing dock, is a very good spot as well. Of course, neither of those spots are anywhere near where I am at the moment, but this is fine. We're going to rest until dawn, and then we're going to go and see Captain Snags, because I've got his tarp on. And I didn't want to hand it in before it rots away to nothing. I mean, he's not that fussy. You could even give him an infected tarp on, and he wouldn't really care, because he's Captain Snags. <laughs> he's snaggy as fuck. <laughs> he's, uh... I should probably maybe explain what that actually means, because it's a Navy expression. Say somebody's got snags, or he's a snaggy fucker, it means he's got issues. <laughs> it's whether he's just a sexual deviant, or he's got real deep-seated problems. Um, like this guy, for example. Because he will quite happily eat rotten fish. Right, now what do we want? What the hell is that? A horseshoe crab. Catch style. Well, yeah, crab pot, obviously. The million dollar question, of course, is where? So where do I need to drop the crab pot in order to catch a horseshoe crab? So we're going to have to consult the encyclopedia. The problem is that, well, there are a number of ways for you to refine your search when you're looking for something in the encyclopedia. You consult it by region. So, for example, the Marrows, the Gale Cliffs, the Stella Basin, and so on and so on. Also exotic fish and aberrations. Or you consult it by the type of rod uh, that you need to use to catch them. Coastal, shallow, oceanic, but it's a crab. I don't catch it with a rod. Oh, I catch it with a crab pot. So the tabs on the left are no use whatsoever. And, well, the tabs on the right aren't particularly useful either, because I don't know which region I should be looking for. I mean, probably the Twisted Strand, but that's not guaranteed. So I guess I'm just going to have to look through everything until I spot the outline. Fortunately, it's not particularly difficult outline to recognise. It's a horseshoe crab. Unfortunately, and this is probably my only real criticism of Dredge, is that the encyclopedia is an utter twat to use. Because once you start combining the tabs from the left and the right, it seems to get a bit confused and it starts displaying nonsensical results that aren't actually what you're trying to narrow it down to. So unless I'm prepared to just completely reset the search and go through all I think up to 124 different possible entries in order to find the one specific outline that you're looking for. The encyclopedia really isn't that much help. But it's a crab. I mean, how hard can it be? I'll just drop crab pots and hope I get lucky. I mean, it's only a matter of time, right? By the way, I'm not saying the encyclopedia is useless. It, it, but far from it, it is very, very useful. But it just... In my experience, the longer you spend flicking through the pages and trying to select different tabs to narrow your search, the more confused the encyclopedia gets, and the less useful it becomes. Oh, dolphins. Hooray. Right, anyway, crab pots. I need to go and get my mouth of the deep. I start looking for horseshoe crabs, or hoping that horseshoe crabs just wander into the crab, but you know what I mean. Oh, um, yeah, um, what's his name? Airman, I've got dog tags, haven't I? That's worth the research part. I need to hand those in. Yeah, that just looks like Sergeant Fish again. So... You know, the Twisted Strand isn't actually that bad once you've taken care of it. Ooh, hang on a minute. I knew I packed some uh, explosives for a reason. Right, what? do we have hidden in here? There are two potential fishing spots and they both look... <gasps> Rare fish! Rare fish! Goliath tigerfish! Hooah! That's it. 
That's one of the rare fish that the travelling merchant wanted. There it is. Hell yes. So there's one more that I need to catch. And it's oceanic. Okay. Oh, so there isn't a rare fish up at the Devil's Spine. Okay. And what's this? This is going to be something good. Give me a research part. Come on. Do it. Uh, well, it might be a research part, but it's probably just a trinket. I think the main draw in here was the rare fish. Which is worth, I think, two research parts when you uh, report the location into the travelling trader. And I've got some dog tags that I need to hand into the airman as well. Worth another research part. Alright boys, now we're cooking with gas. And you know what, I've got plenty of cargo space. And uh, I mean the guard takes up four spots, it's reasonably valuable. Ah, and an aberration, another claw fin guard. Them monies just keep rolling in. Right, anyway, airman, dog tag, more research parts. There he is. So yeah, I found some more dog tags. Uh, where did I put them? There they are. <coughs> Cheers, dude. I'll take those. <coughs> and do I want to spend the night here or risk heading back to the pond too? Oh, I can do the research right now, I suppose. So what was I unlocking? Um, all of the engines are done. I don't really need crab pots with the, uh, the snaggy crab pot. It's going to be fishing rods, the fathomless winch. I really should have unlocked this fathomless winch a lot earlier than this because that and the versatile rod are basically all that you need. Um, you won't be able to do any trawling, but you'll be able to catch anything, anywhere, that can be caught with a fishing rod. Anyway, let's get back to... Carefully does it... The fishing pontoon. I might actually have enough to start... Oh, I'm going completely the wrong way, of course. Because of course I am. Um, might actually have enough to start buying some of those upgrades I've been unlocking. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> complete... Okay. This I recognise. You can tell I was never a navigator, can't you? <laughs> oh, I mean, we're heading back to the fishing pontoon, so we may as well fill up with as much fish as possible. $499 isn't... I mean, it's not a small amount of money, but it's not a large amount of money either. And some of these upgrades can be very, very expensive. So let's top up. I mean, I'm not going to be getting a lot for grey mullet. Uh, but I'll get more for them than if I didn't stop to catch them. Right, so we're about as full as we can get. Let's head back. And I'm kind of, sort of, heading the right way. <gasps> Snaggy fish. Oh, if I have to swap out for some grey mullet, I'll... oh no. Yeah, that, that, I mean, be more valuable but occupies way too many cargo spaces. So, probably uneconomical. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. I remember this place. The pontoon should be just around here. There it is. Hooray. So, let's uh, sell my stuff. Let's see what I can afford. $566. Hell yeah. Dump the trinkets in storage. But before we knock it on the head for the night, I did spot a school of snaggy fish. There it is on the way in. Uh, it just looks like grey mullet again, but snaggy grey mullet, always going to be worth it. There we go, another entwined mullet. Eh. Uh, they're just grey mullet. And I've caught the aberration in that school anyway, so fine. Not really worth the effort. I've got the aberration, I'll sell that. Oh. 
$31, nearly $32. Okay, so we're up to just over $1,000. Um, I really need to get this crab pot to catch the, uh, what was it, horseshoe crab? It's going to need repairs, of course. Uh, ship mm. it, there it is. $42 to repair the crab pot. I should really maybe probably think about actually using this fish bait. Um, let's have a look. So I've unlocked all kinds of Gucci shit. There it is, the engine stem. So that will give me 67.2 knots. And what I currently have is 99.8 with the combination of outboard engines and um, stuff that I have. Um, what I need to do here is check. So let's remove, stick these into storage. I've got a lot of engine spaces. Yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> I don't actually have enough storage space. <sighs> can I make enough storage space? I'm not sure I can. Maybe put that there. I can. Yes, we're good. And put that there. That leaves a full space for the twin prop. Right, and now I have no storage space. Now I'll buy the engine stack. And... Ah. If I put it there, that leaves two spaces on each side. So how can I best organise this? It doesn't matter which way I fit this thing, it's going to leave two spaces. But what do I have that can fit into two spaces? At the moment my speed is 77 knots. So clearly not the twin prop, not the refined outboard engine. Uh, they're not going to fit anywhere, so I'm going to sell them. Yes, that's right, I am selling them. <laughs> Back up to $1,000. Now the peculiar engine you can't sell. But it's, it's not bad. It gives you 14.7 knots. This was, I think, the first engine that you got when you got loaned your fishing boat at the beginning from the main. And it will fit. So I'm now up to 92 knots. So what can I install? Here we go. A couple of jet drive engines. Ah. They've only got one for sale. All right, you know what? 101.9 knots, but I still have one engine space. And they will restock the jet drive engines. So that means I could potentially fit another three. I've got one spare engine slot and I can strip out the peculiar engine and fit another two jet drive engines and they all do 9.5 knots. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't I have a jet drive? Yeah, there it is. I had to remove one of the jet drive engines in order to fit the engine stack. Okay, so there we go. 111.3 knots. <laughs> and I can still strip out the peculiar engine if I need to and fit another two jet drive engines, uh, which will give me even more speed. Or maybe there's a two stack engine I could buy that'd be more efficient than two jet drives. I don't know, but I mean, at the moment, there's nothing in stock. So that's just going to have to do. Fathomless winch is definitely going to be my next research because that is just amazing. And that with the versatile rod covers every, aside from trawling, every conceivable fishing opportunity. So I'll buy that research part. I now need one more. And the traveling researcher does restock every day. Traveling researcher? The traveling merchant, sorry, does restock every day. Or at least she does since the big patch a couple of weeks ago. She'll always have at least one research part in stock, sometimes two. So as long as you've got the money, research isn't going to be an issue. Now then, I still need horseshoe... Ah, oh, I forgot to repair the... I've still got two days worth. And two days should be enough to catch a horseshoe crab, as long as I'm dropping the crab pot in the correct area. And I suspect the middle of the ocean probably isn't it. So I'm going to have to check the encyclopedia to find out exactly where I need to drop this crab pot. Fortunately, since the last time I complained about how unwieldy the encyclopedia is, I have uh, started a new game session. So basically the encyclopedia has reset. There are 128 different types of fish. I've discovered 90 of them. And it's a bit unwieldy, but if I just flick through the pages one by one, without selecting any of the tabs to narrow the search, I should. Hang on, what was that? 
something big. Gale Cliffs, Rod Trawl. Uh, yeah, I should be able to find the outline of the horseshoe crab. And it'll tell me where I actually need to drop the crab pot off in order to catch it. There it is. Depth, 0 to 10 meters, twisted strand, day or night. Right. So not here. <laughs> but I should probably repair the crab pot anyway. And I'm, I'm back in the marrows. More or less. I'm going to stop here, by the way, um, over by Steel Point, because there's a lot of salvage around here. And I don't need sailcloth, but I do need lumber, and I do need scrap metal. And that's sailcloth, and that's scrap metal. That's what I need. I need a lot of this. I think six in total. I probably won't get six from one spot. In fact, I'll be lucky to get three. Yeah, I might get one more. I might get two more, but I'll probably only get one more. Oh, I am going to get another one. Oh, this is good news. And depleted. Okay, good start. What else do we have around here? So I know there's sailcloth that I don't need. Is that lumber? It looks like lumber, and I do need lumber. Don't need a lot. I mean, I mostly need the um, scrap metal. I need another two of those, but I'll take the lumber. And since we're in the area anyway, I'll head back to Little Marrow. I'll see the trinket trader. Make some more cash, clear out some more of that storage space. Oh, hang on a minute. What's up with that dock worker? He doesn't look right. You all right? You look a bit snaggy. <laughs> we delivered a package to him earlier, didn't we? That had something nasty in it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 nasty. Uh, what was that? Yeah, you know what? That seems like a you problem. <laughs> it's, uh, sell my trinkets. Again, this is something that people were complaining about in previous videos. Jingles, you can just sell all your trinkets. No, you can't. You have to move them from storage into cargo. Notice how the amount that I'm getting from selling all trinkets goes up as I move stuff from storage into cargo. Now I can sell them all. $204. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. I found that stone tablet, didn't I? Up at the uh, the Devil's Spine. So what's he telling me? Anything I didn't already know? That I'm going to need another three of these? Yes, I did find them up at the ruins at Devil's Spine. You think there are going to be three more, do you? Wow, tell me something I don't know. I mean, I suppose I had to come back and talk to this guy in order to update the quest, but he didn't really tell me anything that I didn't already know. Back to Greater Marrow, it's just on the other side of the bay. Let's take care of any maintenance, sell off the fish that I have managed to catch. Uh, $42, fine, whatever. Now then, the driver, here we go. Precisely four pieces of scrap metal. And this is going to give me four additional cargo spaces for $600. And that just leaves the rod spaces which I need two more scrap metal. I don't actually need any more lumber, so I could probably just sell the stuff that I have. Bloody hell, Jingles, what's this? Selling unneeded stuff? I know, right? Who are you and what are you done with the real Jingles? Except you can't sell the lumber. All you can do is discard it. <laughs> hey, look, I, I tried, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, there were some trinkets in storage that I didn't bother selling. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. It's not like I have to go far. So, um, right. Trinket Trader again. There's a sextant and a boot, I think, that I can sell here. There he is. 
$103. Yeah, that'll do. And now I suppose I should go and hand that relic in over at Blackstone Oil. And that'll be three down and one to go. Oh, nearly hit the rocks. <laughs> this thing's fast now. Right, Blackstone Oil, see the collector. Ooh, what's that? No, no. Ooh, what's that? No, no. Jingles, focus. Get in there. Because I'm going to get a new ability out of this as well, aren't I? I get a new ability every time I return a relic. So let's go and see the collector. So I found another thing for you. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's in storage. It needs to actually be in cargo, doesn't it? Let's try that again. There it is. Fine, whatever. So I definitely this time found that other thing for you. Fantastic. Shimmering necklace removed from inventory. And yes, I would like some payment. Ability unlocked. Atrophy. It took me a while to figure out exactly what this thing does, but it's actually a really, really useful ability. Yes, I know, I have to go to the Devil's Spine to find the final relic. Uh, what the Atrophy ability does is when you're over a school of fish, you can use the Atrophy ability and it basically generates snaggy fish for you. So if there's a particular aberration of a particular breed of fish that you haven't found yet, just find that breed of fish, use the Atrophy ability and you get the aberrations. So if you're after hunting down every single type of fish and crab and whatever and all the various different aberrations of those particular fish species, this is an invaluable ability to have. Right, anyway, three relics down, one to go. I know I need to take the mouth of the deep. I need to repair the mouth of the deep and deploy it up there at the Twisted Strand in order to get the uh, horseshoe crab for Captain Snags. And then it's up to the Devil's Spine in order to find the final relic and complete any objectives up there. All of that will be coming up in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're all having a great weekend. And of course, as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time.